I've not met to this day in multiple different industries of successful people in my inner circle that have ever said that statement. Zero examples of that. So when people message me and say, Mark, you know, you trade like this, like, can I learn this online? Of course, you can learn whatever you want online, but that will only take you so far. What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing really well. I'm just finishing up running some errands on my way back to the office and I was gonna record a video. So I thought I'd actually start this now. So it's one of the questions I get asked a lot. Mark, can I get everything for free online? Do I need a mentor? This has propped up quite a lot recently and I think it's probably due to the fact that things like crypto is an all time high. There's, there's more information about things more than ever. So naturally people are asking, can I get that for free? Can I get this online? I've never really fully resonate, resonated with that type of mentality and I'll explain why. Think about it, do you really think that successful people sit there and think, right, I can get that for free online, I can get that for free online? First and foremost, anyone that says, I can get that for free online, who do you think agrees with them? Other unsuccessful people, right? No one who is built any wealth whatsoever, sits there and thinks, right, I wanna get this for free online. They don't, they invest. If I wanna learn something about commercial properties, for example, I'm not gonna go online and waste my time in hope that I figured it out with knowledge that, of course, knowledge is online, scattered knowledge. What am I gonna get? I'm gonna get scattered results. So I'm gonna to go to a professional. I'm gonna to go to someone who is doing it in the industry and I'm gonna ask them questions. So if they've got something laid out that I can follow and I can learn, well, I value my time and I do not wanna waste five years, 10 years in hope that I figure it out without all the missing gaps of information as well. For example, if I wanna learn how to edit videos, right? I'm not an editor, but if I wanna learn how to edit videos, what am I going to do? Am I just going to go on? Of course, I could go on YouTube all day long. And I don't doubt that I could probably find lots of valuable tutorials and learn how to do this, do that. But there's going to be at some point missing gaps, missing gaps in my knowledge that someone else has already figured out that could help me step by step in a sequence to save me time. I think people get very, very confused about knowledge. If knowledge was the most powerful thing, then librarians would be the richest. It's got nothing to do with knowledge. It's the sequence of it and the experience of it as well, right? Otherwise, you just get scattered. If you're looking for scattered knowledge out there, well, you're going to get scattered results. So it's about understanding that, yes, to an extent, you can get things for free, but why are you asking that question in the first place? Probably down to the fact that you either have a very big ego and you think that you're, you want to be self-made and I mean the whole self-made topic within itself is just nonsense No one's truly self-made. So everyone's had help to an extent all the way through. This is just ego talking. It's all psychological But what I would say is this if you're genuinely in a position where financially you cannot Invest in your education forget forex trading right now I'm talking about anything that you want to develop skill set etc if you're genuine genuinely in a position where you can't then I'm a big, big fan of, yeah, learn what you can on YouTube, where it blogs, articles, whatever it is. Be resourceful with whatever resources that you've got until you are in a position where there will come a point where you need to invest into your education, period. If you really wanna be successful, if you just wanna learn just the basics and things like that, of course, you'll be able to find knowledge bits here and there and you'll try and put something together, but you could waste your time. You could waste so many years. And what is the opportunity cost of that? People don't think about that. They don't think about the fact that, let's say for example, you, I don't know, you wanna learn something in the fitness industry. I mean, you could Google right now, we could go on YouTube and find chess workout. So of course you can find workout programs online, but it doesn't mean you're gonna get in shape, right? Think about it like this. Let's say there is a program, like a fitness program, and two people have access to it. One person, for whatever reason, has found this exact program online for free, and someone else has the program, but they're involved in a fitness community. And every single week, there's an accountability that you have to jump on, you have to explain, you have to hold yourself accountable to your macros or whatever it is. You have to keep to your word, stick to the things that you know you was meant to do with your fitness program. Who is more likely to succeed? Someone who's just got this information online for free or someone who is part of something, has accountability, has things to focus on. Well, then the next stage is the dated knowledge. Well, things change, right? 
who's going to then benefit from that? Well, the person who is in the know is right. There's a new recipe. There's a new protein. There's this way you can adjust your macros. There's new information. Again, you are not paying for just knowledge and information alone. You are getting the experience of the knowledge. And that's why I've never really understood this whole thing for free online. It's normally unsuccessful people saying, but you can find that for free online. And then other people that agree with them are also unsuccessful. So it's again, this same sequence of blind leading the blind. You know, I've never met, I personally, and there might be some people out there, I'm not saying it's for everyone, but I've not met to this day in multiple different industries of successful people in my inner circle that have ever said that statement zero examples of that so when people message me and say mark you know you trade like this I can I learn this online of course you can learn whatever you want online but that will only take you so far so for me I personally haven't met anyone that ever succeeds that way where they don't value other people's experience they don't want to save themselves time you know at, at this stage you might be thinking well it's fine I've got three five years I could do that but what about when you're 80 years old or you're 85 years old would you value five years then differently I'm sure you would and you would trade all of your money in your account for that time back. You would buy back your youth in a second when you're 85 years old, 90 years old, whatever the age is. So this is why in the earlier stages, what we tend to do when we want to try and become successful, we just hold on to our money thinking, right, if I try and do this and I save and I save, it puts us in a low vibrational state of mind and people don't become successful in that state. You need to be in a higher level of consciousness, which is, again, abundance mindset, not holding on to money, investing in the right areas. So for me, it just comes down to the core of, do you value your time? Time is the most precious commodity. Once it's gone, you're not getting that back and you will regret it later down the line that you never invested in yourself. This is the point, we've gone past this era now where we don't value experience of knowledge and we just think that well I can get this knowledge here and there and that will make me successful who do you know what examples do you know have you ever heard many success stories where someone went online to let's say becoming a property developer that just went yeah I watched 25 YouTube videos I read this book and now I'm a multi-millionaire highly unlikely right they've either learned from someone a mentor someone who is already in that position that are developing properties and they'll learn more in a year than what they would for 10 years of reading books online or whatever that may be. So the point is here, I personally value mentorship. The main benefits of having a mentor in any industry whatsoever is just that they've been there, they've done it, or they're doing it, and they're able to speed up your journey. They're able to fill in those missing gaps, and sometimes you don't realize that they're there because how would you know you've not done it? Where someone from the outside that can look over your shoulder and say, right, look, move in this direction, you know, maybe do this, try this out you're gonna speed up so much more of your time. And you will thank yourself because there's no way enough. Again, like I said, with the editing side of things, if there's a course that is gonna teach me step by step how to become an editor and I wanna start editing videos, I can either invest, I don't know, 200 pound, 300 pound, whatever it is to learn how to do that. Or I can go on every tutorial on YouTube and I can learn quite a lot to an extent but I could, that could take me four years. If someone said, look, don't worry about it four years, just do that and it will take you 12 months. Which one am I gonna pick? Am I gonna hold on to 300 pounds and go, no, I wanna learn it for three online? Again, it's a poverty conscious mindset that gets you nowhere. So this is for me, it's not even just about Forex alone. I think this mindset as a whole applied to anything that you wanna learn. If you carry that on longer term, you'll always be years and years behind. So like I said, at the very core of all of it, if you value your time, learn from people that have the experience that are doing it, that have done it, that is gonna speed that up for you because later on in life, that's gonna be the, be the biggest and the most important commodity to you front of mind. It will be your youth, it will be the time, and you will just wish you had it back. But once it's gone, I can assure you it's never coming back, that's for sure. So guys, hope you enjoyed that rant um, overall and giving you something to think about. Let me know in the comments with you, whether you resonate with this or if you found yourself doing the same thing where you're always trying to search for things for free or you've managed to find yourself to, to learn that way. Like I said at the very beginning, if I was someone where I'm literally not in a position where I have nothing to my name and I want to learn something when well, of course I'm going to read every book I can I'm going to go online and I'm going to research and I'm going to be resourceful with whatever I have until I'm in the position where I can find people that I can invest that and save that time so that for me is a mindset that served me very well for very many years and I've had so many mentors along the way and I'm so grateful I did because 
could I don't know how many years it saved me. Could be 10, could be 15, who knows? But all I know is that it saved me a lot. And that's something that I value highly, which is time. So hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this type of episode, a little bit of a rant, but I thought I'd just jump on and answer some questions. And I might do this on a regular basis actually, because we get questions that just flood in and some of them really need addressing that will help people out. Because again, people are misguided. Like I said, out there, it's the blind leading the blind. So hopefully you've taken some value from this episode. Let me know if anything sticks out to you. I'd absolutely love to know. But as always, thank you so much for jumping into the channel, tuning in on a regular basis. And we look forward to sharing more and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your weekend.